Good evening guys. Tonight I am going to be a proper Anamani and I'm going to wear the traditional... What, just, you call this dasha. This dasha? Yeah. Okay. I'm really scared because I don't want to get it dirty. Yeah, that's what I'm Don't worry about it. That's fine. There we go. Perfect. Oh, oh, Good, okay. right? Okay, you can have it. It's my dad. Perfectly if you're able to close this one. Uh, there you go. We in? Okay, I can do that. Yeah. We need a bigger one. Yeah. <laughs> yes, yes. I can never ever find hats that fit me because I've got a big hat. It's fine, man. We're just going to find one here today. <laughs> no, it's too far. Big, 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 big one, big one. And then come flash. Hey, pull up, pull up, Okay, they're bringing out the, the 4XL. So guys, they call this a kuma and it's a informal headdress. However, we are going to put on the bussar, sorry, the bussar, and this is more formal. Official man travel know what they're doing. They made my um, other half look like this. I'm kind of like into this. It's oh. like super handsome, babe. I'm like, I think we need to keep this. So, Theodora finds fact. Oman is really famous for its frankincense and basically how it's harvested, it's from the south, like near Salala, and you cut the tree and all the sap comes out and that you let crystallize and that's what becomes a little frankincense rock. And like when we're walking around here, you see so much of it, like so tempted to buy lots of this, it's amazing. Yeah, one thing we've noticed in Oman, uh, if you've seen our Dubai videos, obviously they also wear this traditional dress as well, but the sandals in Dubai are not that fancy, but here in Oman they wear really cool funky ones. I mean look, they've even got Ferrari ones here. <laughs> So also like this, they have really cool detailing. I think the Amanis have got a bit more uh, class when it comes to sandals, that's for sure. Okay, we've come to Alam Palace, which is the Sultan's palace. One of. One of. Like, he actually doesn't live here, but I don't know why he doesn't, because it looks absolutely beautiful. It's used mainly for big meetings, so when foreign officials come, they'll come here and meet, and what a welcome. Like the buildings yeah. all around here, it's stunning. The absolutely architecture. Absolutely amazing. Because maybe it's good to add that we're actually in Mutra. 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 Which is the oldest part of um, Muscat. Muscat. Yes. And here you can see the uh, old castle and the Portuguese used to be here for quite a few centuries. Portuguese get everywhere. <laughs> but yeah, proper beautiful place, isn't it? I'm glad yeah. we've come to experience All it. All throughout that old town, it's like it beautiful kind of architecture. It almost reminds me of Buckingham Palace, but not quite as good, I'm afraid. <laughs> So we're walking up this epic viewpoint where we're going to overlook the entire city. It is super dark though, there's no artificial light, so we just got our own light. So I don't know what we're going to capture, but it's still cool for us to experience. So we've made it to the top of this like little castle up here, but you, we just can't, it's too dark, we can't show you. However, we'll show you the port side views. It's really quite beautiful and I'm totally out of breath, but luckily, I've got this to uh, soak up the sweat. Okay, we're here at a street food joint and they're just grilling up some squid for us. So I'm very excited. It looks really, really good. Check that out. Oh, lovely. Oh, it's so nice and warm. Oh, that grill smell. Yes. Thank you. Apologies to my sister because she hates the sight of grilled or anything that's with squid, but. Taste this. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh, it's got some spice on it as well. Oh, oh, I love it. Oh, that's good. Oh yeah. It's that lovely and spicy. I feel like they made like a glaze on top. Oh, got a real kick. Love it. Guys, it's that good. We're ordering some more. Oh, look at that. 
Good morning. It is the next day, obviously, <laughs> and we are going for another breakfast in Dukana. Which means our shop. And I loved wearing this so much that I kept it on all night and uh, yeah, I'm going to wear it for the rest of the day. You look so handsome, man. Huh? Thank you. I really like you. Yeah, you like it? Who make it for you? This is our traditional, yeah. original. Loving it. But one thing only. Yeah, this bit. Yeah. Yeah, it's too tight. Other <laughs> things, it's perfect. Yeah. <laughs> well, perfect. I've got a fat neck. Oh, okay. So it's a little bit tight. After I, after I eat, I, I'll do it up. Take a brief. Thank you. Welcome. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Well, I didn't expect this. This place is so cool. Look how like authentic it feels. Decoration is awesome. Guys, what an absolute treat. Look at this. This is what I call fine dining in Oman. Not quite fine dining, but this is a different kind of uh, Amani breakfast. So here we've got basically baked beans. We've got loads of chapatis. We've got chickpeas. We've got uh, cucumber. Here we've got a lentil dal. So this is yogurt. This is lebanon. We've got obviously the Omani coffee. And here we've got scrambled eggs with tomatoes, chapatis again, chickpeas. Oh, and this cafe is so cool because like, I feel like we're going to a cafe in the UK, but then we're obviously in Oman and everyone's obviously got their traditional dress. Oh, should we dig in? Yes. We finally made it to one of Muscat's must-sees and we're here at the Grand Mosque, Sultan's Kabos Grand Mosque. And uh, look at this background, how amazing. amazing is it? It's beautiful. Now, because we were being fat people and eating lots and lots of breakfast, <laughs> we're a little bit late, so we've only got a few minutes to go inside because it closes at 11. For prayer. For prayer. However, it is beautiful. It's, it's spotless. Stunning. It's totally different architecture. We can't wait to have a look inside because apparently you've got the biggest carpet, one piece carpet. Also, I think it's so cool that if you look behind Graham here, you've got like all the palm trees. And then if you turn a little bit further, yeah. you've got the Omani Mountains. They're everywhere where you see. It's so, they're just there. It's just beautiful, Boom. isn't it? It's amazing. amazing. Now, guys, you know I'm into my videography, and if I had more time and it wasn't so, so, so hot and I'd, bright, and bright, I'd be doing time lapses here. I'd be doing hyper lapses, all kinds of stuff. But can't tell you how hot it is here. Okay, let's chat and let's go inside. Let's go. By the way, if you're wondering where I got this from, literally the ta a taxi driver outside had this in the back of his car. <laughs> we are borrowing it. <laughs> Okay, we are now in the male prayer room in the mosque. Look how massive this place is. Look at this ceiling. A chandelier. I don't know if you can see the chandelier. It's the details in here are insane. I mean, this ceiling, I don't know if you can see it. I could be slightly more impressed than the one in Abu Dhabi, and that's saying a lot because that one is amazing as well. But all these chandeliers all the way around, beautiful, and these arches. Wow, 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 wow. What do you think of the inside, babe? It's insane. It's totally different than what we've seen before in like Abu Dhabi. It's a different style. It's really beautiful. Also, it is the longest one-piece carpet in the world, apparently. But didn't Abu Dhabi also have this statistics? Makes me wonder. Jealous. Okay, Asama just told us that obviously Abu Dhabi got a little bit jealous. So they literally made this carpet in Abu Dhabi. Now, probably about 10 centimeters longer. So they beat the one here in a man. Crazy. <laughs> So 
So we have Opera House tickets. We're gonna go for a tour. Now the only problem is there's no filming. So I'm not sure how we're gonna share it with you guys, but we'll see what we can do. But I'm pretty excited. It looks like the most amazing building. And we're just in the foyer now and you can see like the details on the ceiling and the walls are like amazing. I'm um, literally starting to really, really appreciate like Islamic and Arabic architecture because of the yeah like all the geometry and all this sort of like shapes it's like how do you call it <laughs> nice description but guys we're not allowed to film inside however we're allowed to take try. photographs so there we'll might there might be a, there might have to be a bit of filming and photography yeah. without them knowing Okay, we've just been inside the Opera House, as you just saw. It's actually a really, really cool tour, and I would recommend anyone Highly doing it. I recommend it, yes. So basically, the Sultan had this Opera House commissioned in 2001. It was given to the people, because he's very interested in the arts and classical music. Yes. Uh, same with the mosque, it was a gift to the people. And the people here really are a fan of the Sultan, because he took over from his father, and he's really developed uh, a man over the last kind of like 40, 50 years. Yeah, and everything in the design inside, like in the lobby, um, our tour explained that that uh, is built with an openness to regional, national, but also international. Yeah. So, for example, the teak is from Burma, the marble is from Italy, the chandelier is the same chandelier that was commissioned for the mosque, the state mosque, uh, by Swarovski. And so they, don't, they, they haven't released how much it costs because that's not the point of it it's just a gift to the people to Dubai though isn't it yeah, because Dubai will be like 900 million yeah, yeah. you can come to the Opera House starting from 3 Omani real which yeah. is like 6 pounds and that's to show like it's open to everyone for everyone to get cultured for everyone to experience yeah, it so it's not just for the rich people it. but time is ticking Osama from official Oman travel has got one more sweet thing in store so because we reached to the end of the trip, so I would like you to have the, you know, send off. Uh, yeah. So I would like you to try the Omani sweet. Awesome. Let's go. Guys, you know we love trying sweets, so uh, looking forward to this one. Livers with the walnuts, well, just walnuts. Well, that one with fake. Fake. Here, yeah. Cardamom and um, mixed nuts. Okay. Here, saffron, honey. That one, um, frankincense, you know, oh, frankincense, yeah. 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 And this one, uh, rose water. Oh, okay. It's sugar. Yeah. Okay. Most of them sugar, of course. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Water. Oh, man, it's sweet. Yeah. The guys are explaining that this is also kind of traditional for in a wedding, that you have one of these big pots, you carry it both of you, a husband and wife, and then you basically serve it to your audience and someone with coffee will come behind you. And I asked how do you like consume it with like a spoon? No, no, you just... Pick it out of the hand. Yeah, like Graham likes it. Okay, so the best seller is the honey and saffron. Now I'm not a big fan of saffron, but I am gonna try it. It's almost like a thick jelly. Yeah, I don't like the saffron, but I like the consistency you? and you can taste the honey. So I want to try something really out there. No, actually, that was the best seller, but the walnut is the oldest recipe, so I want to try that. Hmm, <laughs> it's nice. It's so different than what we used to. That's interesting because you can almost smell the taste. I don't know if I'm describing that right. Not sure. I don't want to disrespect the food, but not really my cup of tea. So guys, we've only been in Amman a few days, but we've had an awesome taste of what Amman is like. Hopefully it's come across well to you guys, and you've got a bit of an idea of what you can expect when coming here. Make sure you subscribe, you like, and comment. We leave all the details of official Amman travel down below, so make sure to check it out. But definitely check back in, because we got lots coming up. Thank you to Osama and yes. the team, and we will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.